One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Hi, my name is Megan Elliott, and I will share my personal experience of the Alabama Gulf Shores. No matter what happens, travel gives you a story to tell. Jewish proverb. Have you ever wondered what could be the perfect vacation? Well, today's your lucky day. Just recently, I experienced the Alabama Gulf Shores. The experience I had can also happen to you. I will show you where Alabama is, the best way to travel there, where you can stay, and the activities that you can do while you're there. Something magical happens when you visit the Alabama Gulf Shores. The moment you arrive, the world starts to fade away. Maybe it's the sound of the waves gently lapping the shore or the smell of coconut oil. Perhaps it's the white sand, Gulf Coast beaches, and, smart, and sparkling emerald water. You can kick back, relax, and let the beaches of Gulf Shores take you to a place of sun, fun, and friends. Rediscover yourself and let the sun and surf carry you away. When I traveled to the Gulf Shores, we drove a car, which takes just about 10 hours from Houston, Texas. Driving a car seemed like a smart choice, but seeing as how the gas prices have skyrocketed lately, flying could be just the same price. Although, when you drive, you have the chance to meet to only see, you have the chance to not only see Alabama, but you also pass through Louisiana and Mississippi. On our way to Gulf Shores, we stopped in each state just to add on to our amazing experience and get the feel for culture in other states. To help the drive go by faster, we played games in the car and told funny stories. Before we knew it, we had arrived to the beautiful Alabama Gulf Shores. We also took a ferry in Alabama as a shortcut, and I would highly recommend it. Not only because you get to see the beautiful beaches around you, but it gave you a break from your 10 hour drive. When we got off the ferry, our beach house was just four miles away, and the anticipation was killing us. We were all so ready to get to our destination and begin our vacation. Our beach house was located in Fort Morgan, Alabama, which is just 20 minutes from the Gulf Shores. To rent a beach house was quite pricey, but the, small, the smartest thing to do is to go with a group of people and divide the rental fee between the group. For each person, we paid $150, and that not only paid for a place to sleep, but also the food we ate. Our beach house was right on the beach, so whenever we wanted to go soak up the sun, all we had to do was walk a couple feet, and we were there. In the beach house, there were five rooms and four bathrooms. In each room, at least four people could sleep there. So in all, the beach house can hold at least 20 people. If a beach house is too expensive for you, there are hotels or motels all over the area, or even if you have a friend in Alabama, you could stay with them. Once you get there, there are all kinds of fun activities to do, such as go to the beach, go to restaurants, go shopping, or even go to bars. The first thing we did was go to the beach where the sand was like powder. However, we weren't able to get in the water because it was so cold. But that did not take away from our fun trip we still lounge on the beach for hours on end. Once the sun goes down, we would either grill at the house or even eat at restaurants. A delicious restaurant that I would recommend would be the Gulf Island Grill. The seafood was unlike anything I had ever tasted, mainly because we were right on the Gulf. If you don't like seafood, they have very slim choices to choose from right on the Gulf, but there are plenty of other restaurants a few miles down the road. There are so many tourist shops all along the beaches, but the best one to go to is Surf Shack. It had everything you can imagine in souvenirs, from picture frames to flip-flops. The Surf Shack has it all, and not to mention the amazing decorations the store had. When you looked up, you could see a life-size shark hanging from the ceiling, but the fun does not stop there. If you're of age, there are many bars to be visited, but the best of them all was called The Hangout. We went there a couple of nights, and they had live music and a huge dance floor to let it all go and have a blast. If you're more of a singer, you could go to Mudbugs, where they had karaoke all night long. Now, if that doesn't sound like a good time, then I don't know what does. In conclusion, Gulf Shores, Alabama makes a great vacation for all ages. I have given you everything you need from my personal experience to create an amazing vacation. I have told you about Alabama, how to get there, where to stay, and what to do while you're there. If you listen to me, I can assure you that Alabama is the place to be. Is the place to be. You can log on to goldshores.gov to find out more information. It's the Alabama Gold Shores and it's waiting for you.